Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. The sun is blaring, but there's loads of work to do on board. Loads of little general bits of cleaning and tidying and a little bit of painting to do. Or, as my jacket suggests, we could forget all that in there and hop out on the kayak. You've got to say that when this is how you're spending the day, you really should be getting some jobs done. It's a pretty good trade-off. <laughs> The time is 10.35, we're going to head to pretty much exactly a mile down that direction and see how long it takes us. Let's start paddling. I just thought that I would throw in a few little scenery shots for you so I could commentate a little bit. Not too much because we've got plenty of great footage and I suppose on a sunny day like this all the footage from along the canal, especially at kayak level, is going to look fantastic. I get the feeling that being able to silently sneak up on wildlife is going to be a fantastic addition especially over the summer when you've got the herons and stuff like that I'm really looking forward to the potential photography and just behind there is the white duck that lives on this side of Chirk Tunnel there he goes <laughs> and I will just insert a quick cat clip now and here folks you'll see one of the most important uh, first wildlife spottings from on board the kayak I would definitely say stay tuned if you like wildlife because hopefully over those summer months there's going to be some amazing moments. Well fair play, this is not a bad way to spend your days at all. You've got just a little bit of haze and mist still just rising off the canal there. Beaming sun coming down from the sky. Well hopefully you can see me there if we start paddling our way down. Hopefully the camera angle's not too wild as I'm moving side to side in the background. It's got to be said, this is absolutely fantastic. I've had a few days on the canoe now, on the kayak rather, put in a good few hours. And uh, the first couple of times it really sort of got to this part of my arms. And I think after doing a couple of days of it, as soon as I went back on it and started using my arms in that motion again, they'd really, really start to ache straight away. But already I've started to build up a little bit of stamina and I've got used to it. So that's definitely something I'm very pleased about. But this itself, I mean, just being out here doing this with me uh, shoulder pads rising up there. <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, this is the first time I've actually done this in some proper sunlight. So that's certainly nice. But even with it being dark and damp, it's just such good fun to be out here. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Definitely something that I'm going to be doing an awful lot of. And um, I'm looking forward as well to getting out to some lakes and to the sea and just getting this on some sort of big open stretches of water and seeing what it's really like. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's carry on with our trip. And here we are arriving at the Lion Keys. Not a bad way to travel down if you want to pop for a pint or two. Um, although I don't know about maybe getting back in a kayak well under the influence. That I do not recommend. We have got the bridge that I count as the mile marker from where Tilly's currently moored up. And there's an awful lot of water running in off the roads here. Um, and it has only taken half an hour to get down here. Considering this is only about the fourth day that I've been in the canoe, I feel that I'm a lot less tired already from um, paddling down here. And that half an hour also includes obviously all of the filming that I've done, which has slowed progress to basically a stop such as this and also a phone call off my mum, <laughs> so that slowed progress a little bit. And fair play, when you've got weather like this, oh, what more can you ask for? Um, obviously I'm very lucky that I literally live on a boat, and so you can literally inflate this in easily under a quarter of an hour, and then be out paddling. That obviously gives me a great benefit in being able to do this very frequently and with very little actual travelling. Well, in fact, today, for example, I stepped off the boat, onto the water side, into the kayak, without ever touching the ground. So, so far today, I've not set foot on dry ground, and yet, we're already out here enjoying this. Uh, something of note, as you may have seen in my other video, and people really, I don't know if they didn't believe me or what, but to have a kayak, this being a portable, um, unpowered, boat or vessel, whatever technical term you want to call it, um, a craft, that's the word, um, 
this does need a boat license to be on the canal and you can get various visitor licenses if you're um, obviously not going to be on the canal all the time but for me because I'm obviously going to be in this all year round I've got a, a normal sort of a more normal boat license basically for a year which costs about £48 at this at the time of recording this costs about £48 something um, as the standard and then with prompt payments that drops to about £43 something and well to be able to enjoy this I'm more than happy to paddle along and know that if anybody does stop and challenge me I can say yes I am actually in one of what I can imagine is only the very few licensed boats of this nature. <laughs> Well, as we float along downstream here, it's amazingly bright and hot in the sun, so this is definitely a good trip. I'm going to wrap the video up here and I'll keep the camera rolling just in case there's anything exciting a bit further downstream. But I'll say thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to check out my other videos for a load more bits and pieces from the canal, life on a boat, an awful lot more kayaking, and I'm definitely getting myself a nice new little camera, as unfortunately one previously the other day fell off the kayak into the canal. So hopefully that'll bring proper, um, decent camera angles on board again. So make sure you stay tuned for more from this lovely little vessel. And also, you may see more of my slippers in the background there. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like the Facebook page, over 600 likes now. Loads of pictures from the canal and things like that. Check out my other videos for a load of boat life and all that sort of stuff. And of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter, feel free to add my personal account on Facebook. And until the next time, make sure you check out my two books about life afloat, uh, available for the Kindle, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream. And until the next time, I'm going to carry on paddling one-handed, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell. <laughs>